The Challenged Athletes Foundation is a world leader in the adaptive sports movement and has supported thousands of athletes with physical challenges, empowering their lives through sport. In 2023, the foundation has provided life-changing access to sports and physical activity through grants valued at more than $7 million. Wow, joining us now, three amazing CAF amputee baseball players who received these grants to help cover the costs of their prosthetic limbs, to help them overcome the challenge to play the sport they love and pursue their base Baseball dreams. Logan Marmino, Elijah Schultz, Parker Bird, welcome to the show. It's an honor to have all of you here. Parker, what a program. I mean, you've played your entire life from four years old to committing to East Carolina. How has this foundation helped you in the last year? Yeah, um, all my life I played baseball ever since I could even possibly stand up. And uh, so baseball's been a part of my life forever. And then I got into my accident last July. And an uh, amazing guy named Bob Babbitt reached out to my mom and that basically told them what Challenge Athletes Foundation was and just gave us hope. And then I uh, received a grant for them to get this nice prosthetic leg. And it's just changed my life with the baseball and it's really, really helped just move my swing and just being able to use it better to do what I love doing. Yeah, so you can play the game you love. Logan, you do such great work on your own spreading awareness. When did you start playing baseball? Tell me about your childhood. You're still a kid in the game. Tell me about it growing up. Uh, yeah, so I was born without a leg and um, ever since I could have a prosthetic on, I've been playing baseball, and it was there was no uh, limit to me ever. I mean, especially my parents have always put that out there that you can do whatever you want to do. Like your limb loss is not a limit to you. And um, since I was about eight or nine, I would say I realized how important it was to spread awareness. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, ever since I've just been talking to schools about limb loss awareness and inclusivity and that type of stuff. And baseball's just always been there the whole way through. What position do you play? Second base. Okay. And other sports. You can play other sports as long as it doesn't interfere with baseball. Oh, yeah. And yeah. then there's this one who really hit a home run in your first swing of the year. Yeah? yeah. You, didn't, um, you didn't need any warm-up? <laughs> well, pr we prepped a lot over the off-season okay. to get better and just um, to help me get better and help my team. I hear you play a little football yes, as well. What position? I play quarterback and defensive end. Pretty darn good. Wow, Parker, I mean, you've been so vocal about wanting to be the first amputee to wear a prosthesis and play D1 baseball. How do you work towards that goal? Tell me about it. Yeah, um, just a lot of PT and a lot yeah. of training. Uh, just learning how to use a leg to my advantage instead of my disadvantage, I think is pretty key. And just using this uh, nice spring I have, uh, to help me and uh, just throughout that, just spread, spreading awareness. I know Logan was hoped to be the first D1, but I told him the other yeah, day kinda, that. Yeah, kind of beat me too. Yeah, I, to, I, to, I told him the other day <laughs> that he can be the first recruited D1. Okay. MT. So, <laughs> right. um, so just spreading awareness and just seeing guys like these two just uh, playing with a prosthetic leg gives me hope and uh, really inspires me just to keep going and keep training and just to get there, so. I love what you said, use it to your advantage, right. not a disadvantage, and you said no limits. That's your hashtag, right? Yeah. How do you live that mantra, no limits, hashtag no limits every day? Um, yeah, I mean, you just gotta remember how grateful you are. I mean, like, the amount of technology that we have right now, it, you can't put a limit on yourself. There's no physical limit, it's only in your head. Love it. Elijah, how long have you been around this foundation? How has it helped you? Um, it's helped me because I got my first running leg from it when I was about five years old, and I liked it so much I only w wore running legs. <laughs> Who's your teams? Uh, I'm a Braves fan. Braves so. fan, Elijah? Um, I'm a Dodgers fan. Dodgers fan? Go Phillies. Go Phillies all the way. Okay, who's your player? Who's your player that you um, watch the most? Uh, I love Acuna right now, but my all-time favorite is Brian McCann. You gotta, Brian McCann behind yes. the plate. Okay, yes. Elijah, what about you? Probably Mookie Betts or Freddie Freeman. Oh, those are, those are good ones. Yeah, my second favorite team is the Dodgers, so... Bryce Harper and Mookie Betts are like okay. my favorite. Not bad. You know, there are so many kids watching and people watching who have had adversity along the way who maybe need a word of advice or encouragement. What would you say to them? Elijah, we'll start with you. I'd just say keep pushing, do your best um, rehab, and do what your parents tell you. Do what your parents tell you. Your parents are over there shaking their head going, yes. yes. What about you, Logan? Um, never put a limit on yourself. Mm -hmm. um, Always work hard at your goal, no, and do not let anybody tell you what you can't do. Not. Do not. There you go. Yeah, and uh, my message is 
keep pushing, like these guys said, and uh, just because tragedy or something bad in your life happens, just keep going, and uh, your life's not over, no matter if uh, you lose a limb or you get paralyzed with somebody, you're still living, just uh, to live every day and get 1% better and uh, just be grateful, so. Is it true you just met Alex Bregman? It is, yeah, he's a man. Uh, I got to go out to Houston and throw out the first pitch. Yeah. Uh, and I got to watch BP from both teams, and I talked to a bunch of the, the guys, and uh, me and Bregman talked for a good 15 minutes, and I mean, that guy was great. He just sat there and talked to me about his swing and what he needs to do to get better. Mm -hmm. I think he was in a slump at the time, but I think he ended up getting hot right after we left, so maybe it was that conversation that <laughs> kind of got him <laughs> There you go. <laughs> D1 guy himself out of yeah, LSU. Right. Wow, your stories are so inspirational, and your love of the game is certainly shared by all of us. Guys, thank you so much. Parker, Logan, Elijah, yes. we appreciate yes. thank you guys you. being thank here. You. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Wow, for more information on the Challenged Athlete Foundation, go to challengedathletes.org.